The beautiful, snowy region of Lapland is the captivating setting for the White Reindeer, a fantasy tale of loneliness, witches, and vampiric reindeer curses. Finland's cinematic output rarely touched on horror, but in 1952, the country doubled down, producing two of their most well-known films in the genre. The Witch is about a 300-year-old witch that is unearthed, and a young, lustful woman begins to ensnare the menfolk of the local village. Most of the discussion surrounding the film is on its sexually charged nature. It was very controversial at the time, featuring multiple scenes of female nudity, leading to 14 meters of film being censored in its native country although this really helped sell the movie overseas. The other Finnish horror from 1952 is more sophisticated. The White Reindeer tells the story of Pelita, a nice lady who marries a reindeer herder in the vast wilderness of Lapland. The film is quite pleasant for a time. The early scenes project a fairy tale vibe, with a blossoming romance, stunning snowy surroundings, whimsical animal scenes, and a soundtrack that is right out of Disney's golden age. Situations grow darker as Polita's loneliness and insecurities arise due to her new husband's long periods of work-related absence. He gifts her a gorgeous white reindeer for company, but it is not enough. In desperation, she seeks out a shifty shaman and requests a love potion hoping it will strengthen her relationship. The ritual begins, and all feels very false, phony. Slowly it becomes more tense. Then, in a moment of great filmmaking, Polita gets involved hands-on, revealing a fearful dark energy inside her. To complete the ritual, she must sacrifice the first loved one she sees. In a choice between her husband and the white reindeer, she reluctantly murders the poor beast at an altar. The altar is a neat location, very minimal, but the graveyard of Atlas tells you all you need to know. Oh dear, oh dear, the love potion appears to work too well. All the men are drawn to Pelita, but men are also being slaughtered. She rightly suspects she has been cursed, shifting into a murderous vampire reindeer. The White Reindeer builds on Finnish folklore and Sami mythology, giving the film a unique edge and is certainly a nice change of pace from the aliens and sci-fi destruction of your typical 50s horror. Catching an albino reindeer was said to bring great fortune, which explains why the herders are so eager to chase the beast. Oh, if only they knew the deer was actually a cursed witch in disguise, and her fortune is death. The chilly location also sets it apart from other horrors of the period. As I said before, at first the snow-swept lands feel at odds with any notion of horror. It's all very picturesque and peaceful. As the film trends towards horror, suddenly the location feels very bleak, lonely, desolate, scary, and invokes a total feeling of emptiness and vulnerability. The contrast is very intentional with the film opening and closing with similar shots of the vast landscape, but offering a stark divide in tone. In another way, the White Reindeer recalls classic Scandinavian horror from the 1920s. Several scenes feel lifted straight from an older, silent movie, with long stretches of only soundtrack to be heard, and a very notable absence of diegetic sound. Certain shots are framed in a way that invokes that bygone era, very boxed in, static, and with a very soft focus. This is one to look out for for sure. Perita's downfall is affecting and well told, which too is reminiscent of fairy tale morality messages. Careful what you wish for, you might just get it. More so, you might have been a witch since birth and just became a bloody vampire reindeer to boot, so sucks to be you, mate. If nothing else, watch the film for its fabulous animal cast. It features more hippity-hoppity per square inch than any other horror film. <laughs> 